What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some insane AEW action figure news for you guys. This came to us yesterday in a in a bit of rage, man. It was absolutely insane, and it was it was kind of weird because it wasn't like this massive, big known thing because it wasn't U.S. related at the time, but it kind of spread over over like wildfire. You know, it went from international straight over to the U.S. really quick, like and for good reason. And we're gonna get into that, man. If you didn't know, yesterday was London Toy Fair or UK Toy Fair. And it was insanity because we had some AEW action figures on display and we had some new things over there that were shown off. Now I'm guessing this stuff will be shown to us at New York Toy Fair, which is why there was no official announcements or anything like that. I think they're waiting until New York Toy Fair, which is in like three or four weeks, I think, or something like that, maybe less time. But New York Toy Fair is coming and they wanted to wait on it. But anyways, guys, today we're going to dive into what was shown off there and what we can assume we are going to be getting in the future. And I'm just going to get into it, man. As you guys can see, it's kind of blurry, so just, just bear with me. It is blurry, but we're going to break all the things down. If you can make out these images, I'm going to try my best to zoom in, showcase everything, kind of talk you guys through what's going on here. But you guys will see two little figures displayed here. It is Britt Baker and Cody Rhodes, and this is the new AEW Supreme line. This is the Supreme AEW action figure line, and this is going to be the equivalent of the WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition. So AEW and Jazzwares took notes. They said, you know what? But that Ultimate Edition over there is pretty damn cool. Maybe we should make something quite like it. And that is what we get here with the Supreme line. Now, you're probably wondering, what exactly does this entail? Are we going to get all the different things that we get with the Ultimate Edition? And it seems likely so. So let's go ahead and dive into the details of the Supreme line, and then we'll kind of break down my thoughts on it, what I expect out of it, and, and, and the packaging, and just all these different things, what we see in Series 1 here, or at least the little prototypes or the little render figure images we got. And let's just shut the hell up and get into it. So as you guys can see, it says AEW Supreme Collection 6.5 inch figures. Now, a lot of people were blowing this thing up. A lot of people were underneath this thing talking about, is it going to be a larger scale? Is Are they going to be bigger than regular AEW figures? And they're not. They're absolutely not. Because if you guys didn't know, WWE Elites and AEW and Rival figures are not 6 inch scale. They're actually 6.5 to 7 inch scale. If you guys are familiar with Marvel Legends, that's where Marvel Legends come in. Marvel Legends are 6 inch scale. They're much smaller, honestly. If you if you put a Marvel Legends figure up next to a WWE Elite or an AEW figure, you'll notice immediately how much smaller they are. It's kind of baffling, honestly. Like, I think the scale of WWE Elites is pretty nice. I know that it's kind of hard to find vehicles, right, and find different accessories to match those, but uh, they are in the 6.5, 7-inch scale. Anyways, you guys will also notice that it says 29 points of articulation, higher deco counts versus unrivaled figures, so there's going to be more deco on the tights, things of that nature, things that are missed on unrivaled figures sometimes. Uh, you know, all the different black plane tights we get from Chris Jericho, maybe that will be an upgrade from that. It says premium entrance gear. I'm guessing cloth goods would be the deal there. Interchangeable legs, arms, and hands heads and then enhanced joints versus unrivaled figures. So higher deco count versus unrivaled figures and enhanced joints versus unrivaled figures. So I'm guessing that these things are probably going to have butterfly joints. It says interchangeable legs, arms, and heads. Now that's insane to me because we've seen we've seen Ultimate Editions with the interchangeable arms before from Mattel. They'll have like sculpted and molded sleeves to interchange. Bret Hart, Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, guys like that. We've also seen, you know, interchangeable heads in the past. We've even seen interchangeable heads with AEW figures quite a bit, right? We got, we get, we've got we seen it a lot. We saw it with the TNT Cody. We've seen it with Wardlow. We've seen it with a lot of different characters. So that doesn't really shock me there. But it says interchangeable legs. Now, that's a, that's a pretty wild card right there. Interchangeable legs? So I don't know what they're thinking there. I guess you could make like a two-in-one mox. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking outside the box there. Maybe you could, you could do something like that. You could play around with some different things. But this should look incredible, man. Like you guys can see there, you can see a little bit more of the Cody figure here on the zoom in shot. You can get a better look at the packaging. It's like the entrance to the AEW. You got like some different stuff displayed there on the Britt Baker. You can see the different interchangeable heads. It looks like she's going to come with a mic, some hands, some uh, an interchangeable vest. It does look like her vest is going to be arms. So like you would put 
her vest on or her jacket on her figure and then she'll have jacket arms that go on there that can actually articulate is what I'm guessing and the, the same thing probably goes for Cody I would guess you would have like his regular skin tone arms and then you could pop in the jacket arms to make the jacket completely movable so I'm guessing we won't always get cloth in this line I bet it's going to be just like Mattel where you have your rubber jacket and then you have your molded arms kind of like the Ultimate Edition Edge that we've seen from Bret Hart from those guys that we mentioned before so I'm guessing it'll be like that but we'll also get our share of cloth goods in this line it says we get interchangeable heads it should be great I would guess that it will be the price point of the Ultimate Edition right I just I see that completely I don't know if I like the packaging that much it's not the best packaging in the world I think that they should have kept the like unnamed series going like instead of Supreme like I know that name is very recognizable that may be why they went with it you know supreme is all the hype beast stuff that goes on in the aftermarket and all these different things but i guess i get it from that perspective but it would have been cool to see you know they have the unrivaled they have the unmatched i think it would have been cool to be undisputed or or un i don't know you know unparalleled you know just something crazy like that unequaled you know just different words with the un in front of it would have been cool to continue here in this line but you know i still i still like it you know supreme line's kind of different you know it's different than Ultimate. It's different than Elite, so I can appreciate that. But it looks like Cody and Britt Baker will be the first two figures in the set. And I saw a ton of people shishing on that, too. I don't know what it is about the AEW figure community. They, I mean, they were, they were just shishing on this, man. They were totally crapping on it. They were like, another women's figure, another Britt Baker, another Cody. I mean, it's Series 1, so they gotta put out, you know, two top-level names. I mean, to be honest, like, Cody being in there, it makes sense. He wears a lot of crazy over-the-top gears. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He sells well. He's of no name would you guys rather have another Chris Jericho in the line because that's probably coming in series two I would imagine I would like to see a Kenny Omega in this set obviously but Cody's pretty sweet and Britt Baker I don't know I mean you could have put two men there but I think it's cool that they start out with a woman Mattel did the same thing with the ultimate edition line they started out with ultimate warrior of course for the ultimate line and then they went with uh, Rowdy Ronda Rousey so it worked out perfectly and I think this will be the start of a great series I can't wait to see the rest of the series it's just another series that I have to keep up with i'm also wondering are there going to be chase supreme figures that'll be another thing are we going to get chase variants of these that are one of 500 and 1000 3000 5000 that'll be something that i would like to ask jeremy for sure so maybe we'll get an announcement about this i'm sure we'll know those details probably in a q a or something like that once we get to Toy Fair in the U.S. and not in the U.K. But it's still really cool, man. I like it. I can't wait to see the details of these figures. You know, maybe we'll get like a prototype shown off at New York Toy Fair. Maybe they'll have one like a prototype on display. Maybe it wasn't ready for this event. I know by Comic-Con we'll know something. I can tell you that right now. So maybe we'll have, uh, maybe one of those will be released. But it looks crazy. I'm guessing we'll probably get some sort of ringside exclusive Supreme Edition with some crazy accessories as well. Maybe it'll be Kenny Omega. I'm just kind of spitballing things all over the place. But I think 2022 is going to be the year of the AEW figure. I predicted it at the beginning of the year. I said that this is going to be the year that the AEW line and Jazzwares and Unrivaled and everything going on really takes a step forward in play sets and everything like that. Everything will be mightily improved. And these figures should just change the game even more. We thought it was changed, but now it's even more changed. So it's insane. But uh, going through these things, 29 points of articulation. I, I'm not going to sit here and count all the different points of articulation, but the AEW figures are uh, automatically have incredible articulation. You add a butterfly joint to that, it just gets even better. And then you have higher deco counts, which is great. You know, more details on the tights, more details on different things, such as the gear that they wear and all those things. Premium entrance gear, so hopefully that will mean cloth goods in due time. I'm guessing it'll not always be cloth goods like we've seen from Mattel, like I discussed before. Interchangeable legs, arms, and heads. Always great to have multiple ways to, to display figures and show off your figures in your collection. Heads will be great for different expressions. I think every figure needs that, to be honest with you. And then the enhanced joints. I don't know if that means, you know, I don't know if that goes together with like 29 points of articulation. I guess it would. It would go hand in hand with that. I guess it would mean, you know, introduced. It will have more articulation, obviously, or at least better range of motion for these figures compared to the unrivaled figure. So we'll have to see about that. But I would guess, you know, uh, your butterfly joints, things of that nature. They may even dip into the hips or the crotch piece to give it a deeper ab crunch. I've seen that before. But their ab crunches are already really good. So I, I'm not entirely sure. But you'll also see in these photos that there is Unmatched Series 3 
up there in package. You can see like Brody Lee and Stu Grayson and guys like that. You got Evil Uno up there and all of those different things on display. Really cool display right here with the cube or like this little square pack. You got Sting over there. We're going to get a wrestling buddy of Sting. You have like a little ring setup and stuff. You got the barrel pack and then you have AEW and Rival Series number 8 over there. So, I mean, a lot of cool stuff going on with it, but I had to get on here discuss my thoughts on it. I'm excited for it, man. It's definitely exciting for me. I don't have any issues with with all of it, man. It looks incredible. I can't wait to get these figures in hand, get in all the details. We're going to get, you know, more info, and as we get more info on this, I'll definitely be reporting it to you guys and letting you guys know all the good things about it. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the Supreme line. Do you guys like the idea of it? Are you annoyed with it? What do you, what do you think it'll compete with the Ultimates? I would love to know all of those things down in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it, man. But I think that's all I wanted to get on here and discuss, man. A new Ultimate in quotations line coming for the AEW Jazzwares figure. So this is insane, man. Can't wait for it. But that is going to do it for today's news video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. AEW Unrivaled Series number 8 review should start tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line. You cross